It's a project five years in the making, and this Saturday it'll be open for the public to see. A home located in the 4900 block of Warrington Drive in Gentilly that puts visitors in the shoes of someone who lost everything during Katrina. Jade Cunningham joins us live from the museum with more. Hi, Jade. Hey, good evening, Karen. Yeah, you know, I spoke with some neighbors who didn't want to go on camera, but they tell me they're looking really forward to this museum because they say this is a moment in time or this was a moment in time that needs to be remembered. On this quiet Gentilly street sits something special. 1,577 people died in the disaster, and they all deserve something important and meaningful to remember it by. This brick home will open Saturday as the Flooded House Museum, a monument that will serve as a reminder of August 29, 2005, the day levees broke following Katrina. It's important that you reflect and and. Uh, remind yourself of what took place. Once open, people will look through the windows and be transported back 14 years when all seemed lost. They're going to actually see what a flooded house looked like when the owners came back. Mold, they're going to see the furniture toppled upside down, they're going to see mud. There are constant reminders of Hurricane Katrina all over the city. In fact, you don't have to go far from the museum to see one. The house next door is reality. Windows are shattered and doors are boarded up and padlocked, a sight that's common around New Orleans. There are so many blighted properties around the city that haven't been touched since Katrina. Do you think that this is necessary? If this house is not preserved and remembered for what happened, the history is gone. There will be no other opportunities of a house right at a breach site. Which is the goal of the museum, to not just remind people of a terrible past, but to help Help them remember their strength, something so many in New Orleans had even after Katrina tried washing it away. Getting back to lifting up the spirits of the community, the people of Gentilly, the citizens of New Orleans, and that's what that flooded house museum represents. Now again, visitors will only be allowed to look through the windows, but that is something that those behind this project hope will change. They want to get people inside the house at some point. Uh, again, it opens this Saturday at 10 o'clock, and it's free for anybody who's interested in checking it out. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News.